everyone welcome back to my channel today is thriftmas day six and once again my hair is wet i am a mess i just i'm just i'm just a mess again this morning because i just like quickly rush out the door just to try to get here at opening at the value village and i just shower quickly and yeah um it's, it's a lot doing 10 thrift with me's you know filming 10 thrift with me so i'm here I'm excited. I'm hoping I can get some cool stuff off my Pinterest board once again because I'm pretty much just thrifting a whole new wardrobe this Thriftmas series. So I'm excited, but there is a whole train of us that like came into the parking lot. So I gotta get into the thrift store because I don't want to be waiting in the lineup and I want to get all the good stuff before other people will get it. So let's just go in and see what we find today. Also, while I'm walking over to get into this thrift store, I do want to remind everyone that there is going to be a giveaway at the end of this video. So stick to the end if you want to enter the giveaway and there's also a giveaway every single Christmas video that I'm doing. All 10 videos will have a giveaway. So watch them all and then you can enter the giveaways. It's so big, this Value Village. It's amazing. I'm thinking I'm gonna start in shoes today. I'm feeling a little optimistic. Right off the bat, there are some hunter boots here, but I already have a pair of hunter boots. So I'm gonna look through all of these boots. Oh, these are pretty snazzy and see what I find in the boot section. I love how they organize the boots here where they have one boot on the front and then one boot on the back. So every single one of these is just a single pair and it's so nice and so easy to look at all of them. I really wish all Value Villages and all thrift stores did this. Damn, another pair of hunter boots and another pair. These, these are spiffy. I have no idea where they're from. The brand? Stella McCarthy, oh my goodness. That's like designer, isn't that? Or is it not? Wow. Wow. These are sick, but um, I don't think I'd ever wear these and I don't think they're my size. Like, would I realistically wear these? Probably not, but they are really cool. They are really cool. Okay, so I was just kind of curious to see how much these shoes were. So I just went onto Google and just looked up Stella McCartney and these shoes came up on the front page and I was like, oh, whoa, those are, those are them. And so I clicked on the website to see how much they were and look how much they are. $1,165. I don't know how to authenticate these to see if they're real, but if they are real, I can make some money. So I technically could just buy them and then return them because you're allowed to return shoes up to two weeks if they don't work out, but um, I'm just gonna put them in my cart for now. Look at these shoes. These are so cute, these shoes. I don't know if they'll fit. Uh, I don't know what size they are, but they are. They're kind of cool, so I'm gonna put these in the cart and try them on. I knew it was a good idea to come with the shoes first today. Ooh, these are cute too. Why are there so many cute pairs of shoes here? They're nine west, but I think those are too small, those ones. Oh, I wish these were my size. These are so cute, these boots. They are Franco Sarto. I don't know that brand. I, they're size nine and they're leather, but too big, unfortunately for me, but those are really cute shoes. Look at these vintage guest jeans. Yes, please. They might be a little big for me, but um, I can always alter them. So we'll just put them in the cart. Look at these vintage Levi's I just found. Aren't they just beautiful? I'll show you what a vintage Levi's tag looks like if you're ever curious and want to find a pair for yourself. It should look somewhat like this and it'll either be like in the crotch or on the side and it should say either made in Canada or made in the United States. This one says, this one says made in Canada. So we're gonna put these in the cart as well. There's also a brand new pair of Levi's here and they look like a vintage pair, maybe 90s. They have the orange tag which is crazy. I've never seen a brand new tag here. They look, they're definitely newer than the other ones, but they, oh, they do have a tag here. Let's look. Brand new vintage Levi's right here. You can see made in Canada right there. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly look through all of these pants here and just kind of lightly skim through them. I'm still looking for some fun pants. So I'm gonna quickly go through these, see what's here. And then I'm gonna move on to the sweaters. Look at these vintage pants. These look fun. They're kind of like a kick flare pants. So I'm gonna put these in the cart. That was the only fun pair of pants. I hope you guys know what I mean by fun pants. I just mean something that's different, I guess. I don't really know what I mean. Just something I like, I guess. Don't know how I feel about it still. I just really liked the fur here on the arms and up here, but I think I'll pass on this one. I'm just not a huge fan of this particular like yellow camel color. Okay, I, I love this pattern. Although I'm wearing like a lot of brown right now. It's a lot of brown going on, but 
I, I really think this one's really, really funky. It's like a nice, it's actually a vintage sweater. I was gonna say it's like a vintage sweater, but no, it's actually a vintage sweater. So definitely think I'm gonna get this one. This one's really cute. Okay, I got a little distracted, but I'm on my way back to the sweaters and cardigans and gonna go through them and see if I can find any of them that are on my Pinterest board. I already found one. That one sweater I just found and I showed you was kind of on my Pinterest board. So hopefully I find more like them. Because the store is so big, I'm mainly just kind of browsing through them quickly, just kind of on the top. This one's a nice vintage wool one. Oh, I dropped a sweater. I'll pick that up in a second, but I just got to finish. I am just mainly just browsing through the top here and just quickly going through them and seeing what I see rather than going through every single one. I just found this one and this is a Liz Claiborne one. And I like this one because it's zipper. I've actually been looking for like some cardigan like sweater, like zip up ones like this. I'm sorry, it's really noisy in here. So I'm on the hunt for a brown cardigan, kind of like this one, but I'm hoping maybe one that's a bit shorter. I know I'm being very picky, but I'm 13 so much, so I feel like eventually I'll find one, but similar to this one. Love this fabric and just the pattern of it, but I'm not sure if this will work. I'm not, I'm like thinking of ways of how I could rework it. It's ain't any nine, so it's not the cheapest thing. So I could risk it and try to make something cool out of it, but it's also quite, large and I'd like it a little bit more fitted so I think I'm gonna have to pass on this but I'm hoping I find something similar to this one day look at this top you guys are you kidding me I am so pumped for this turtleneck here look at this this is literally like one of my dream tops or this is very similar to the stuff I pin on my Pinterest board I can't believe I found that so this cardigan would be super cute cropped like here like a nice short cropped one but I'm thinking this might be a little big or actually an oversized cardigan might be cute um we'll just put this in the cart for right now oh my goodness it's getting full i want to get this shirt so bad because it's like the nice mesh shirt that i thrift flipped i'll show you a picture here of my thrift flip and it was like a mesh shirt it looked like this before i thrift flip it and i love it i wear it all the time but this one is 12.99 and i'm pretty sure at the time i got that shirt was like two dollars oh my gosh i finally found it a cardigan with some fur on it i finally finally found it and it was in the long sleeve knit section if you can see that there this section is the literal bomb like it's the bomb literal bomb i don't know if that even makes sense okay i'm back in my corner now and i'm gonna try on all these clothes so i can make some room in my cart i was so excited for this cardigan and i wanted to love it so bad but I, I just don't. See, I'm thinking something like this, like this cropped. I think that's a good length if I, if I wanna keep it and actually do a thrift look with it. Sweater is a little big, but I think I can work with it and do some more of these cinch there. I might do some like colorful ones or maybe just white, I'm not really sure, but it's okay. I was having higher hopes for it, but maybe we can work with it. I do like the neck here. The neck's really nice, so. We'll see, we'll see. I have a lot of stuff here, so I gotta decide at the end. Uh, I wanted to love this one too, but it is incredibly itchy. And I don't know if you can hear me just because it is so noisy in here, but yeah, this one's a no-go. I actually think I might get this one because it has potential. And when I'm thrifting, you always have to look for potential, not perfect. Damn, that's actually a good quote. These are some snazzy shoes. Look at those. They are beautiful. but it's a size extra extra large and it's supposed to fit like really tight but I kind of don't mind it loose so I don't know might rework it a bit but I've been looking for a skirt just like this so that's why I'm so tempted to get it and just rework it so I did really well in there I ended up spending $57 but I did have some returns because some of the items that I purchased during this thriftmas series just didn't work out when I brought them home like I think I showed you the try on but I just didn't really like them I just didn't love them so I ended up returning three items I think I returned the Zara knit kind of with the fur there if you watched my video of yesterday or a few days ago I don't remember but it was super super itchy when I brought it home and I didn't realize that at the store so I returned that one and then I returned two dress pants that were too short for me and yeah that's all I returned and I got a whole bunch of other stuff that I like a lot more so I'm happy with the haul today so I'm excited to show you everything that I purchased so let's just fast forward to that we have a big haul today I have all the clothes here and then the shoes are on the side there but these are all the items that I found today it is 
pretty full this tote bag and I'm excited for like every single one of these items I am just really excited with how I did today I found some really cool items I was able to get items that I could also thrift flip to you know items with potential overall it was just really enjoyable it was a really good thrift store I just like killed it today so I'm excited to jump into the haul now but before we do I am going to exchange these pants right here, these white fun pants I called them when I was thrifting today. And I already tried them on and they're just, just a little bit too small. Like they fit, I can get them on, but they just have no give to them. Like they have no stretch whatsoever. And I just feel like if I like move the wrong way, they just go rip and I think they're supposed to be like a loose fitted pair of pants. So these are gonna be exchanged, although I really wish <laughs> They fit because they're just so fun. They're definitely a fun pair of pants. Anyways, I'm gonna get into these items. Some of them I am gonna be thrift flipping, so I will put the clip of the final thrift flipped item, not how they look right now, because some of them are just a little too big, so I wanna make them a little bit smaller. So I will show you the final piece of each piece in the try on portion. The last item I ended up finding at the thrift store was this belt and I just saw it near checkout when I was like sorting through all my items and figure out what I wanted to keep. And I found this belt and I am so excited for this because I actually been wanting a nice chunky belt to kind of put around my winter coats, you know, your oversized coats. I like doing that. I like that trend of just having a nice belt around it. I have some thinner belts that I was using before, but they're like actually for like your jeans and not actually for styling purposes. So. I found this, I like it, it's from Club Monaco. It says it's actually 100% leather, which is kind of hard to believe. It kind of just looks like more like vinyl, but the tag says it's 100% genuine leather, so I guess I have to believe it. This one was $6.50, and then I think I had a 20% off coupon, or I don't think I had a 20% off coupon, I did have a 20% off coupon. My next item is this knit skirt that I found at the end as well, and this one is way too big for me. It's an extra extra large, but I was just really excited about the fabric and just the skirt in general that I was like, hey, I'll just make it smaller. It's an extra extra large, but I can turn it into a small. So that's what I'm gonna do. I tried it on in the store and you saw me try it on and it didn't look that oversized. It's not like it's like this big and I'm having to make it, you know, the size of me. So I thought, you know, hey, it'll be fine. It's a skirt. All I to do is just like, take some fabric off and make it a bit smaller. So how hard can it be? So we'll see how that turns out, but this one was $15. So this next sweater is definitely a sweater that like came out of my Pinterest board. This is definitely something that's like similar to a sweater on my Pinterest board or just, you just simmer in the sense that it would fit within the items pinned on my recent Pinterest board, if that makes sense. But I am over the moon excited for this sweater. I just, I just love it. I don't really know what else to explain. It's a vintage sweater, so that's a bonus because I love vintage clothing and it's just something that's really, really pretty and it just fits me really nicely. It's my perfect size. So I am really, really happy I found this one. This one was actually only $5.99, so it's like one of the cheapest things I found because I found a lot of the sweaters there were quite expensive. They're like $10 to $15, which is maybe not expensive for you, but I think that's kind of expensive considering a lot of people tell me their thrift stores are like two or three dollars for a sweater, which is absolutely nuts, is absolutely nuts. So I ended up getting another pair of Levi's, which I probably didn't need. There's another pair of vintage Levi's, but I just can't leave vintage clothes behind, especially if they're like vintage Levi's or just just vintage clothes in general, to be honest. If I like them a little bit, I just buy them and that's a problem I have, but I couldn't leave these behind because look at the wash of them. They're so pretty. They are a little big in the waist because I've already tried them on and they're, yeah, they're just a little big in the waist so I can fix that, but they fit really good in like the, the leg portion down to like the length. Everything fits really nicely, so. I'm excited for these, but probably didn't need them, but maybe I'll get rid of a different pair of jeans in my closet. Maybe that will be the solution, but here they are, vintage pair. Look at that tag. It is so beautiful. It's actually a leather tag, which is very nice. And then I already showed you guys the actual vintage tag inside here, which is nothing crazy, but I love them. I love them. They're nice high rise, just everything about them. I love them. Next in my tote bag is 
The sweater that I had a very big debate on because when I first found this, I was really, really excited and I like fell to the floor. I was so excited because I've been looking for a cardigan with the nice fur trim and I finally found one. But then when I tried it on, I wasn't as thrilled because it didn't look as nice. But then I thought, hey, Jenna, you know how to sew, you know how to rework clothes, just make it like the sweater that you want it to be. So I bought it. It was $10, so it's a little expensive for a flip, but I think I'm gonna make it look really, really cute and I'm gonna crop it and also make it a bit tighter fitting. So I'm excited for what it can be than what it is right now. Here is another item that I need to rework. I feel like all the items I purchased, I need to rework for some reason. I was just in the day where I was like, I can make you perfect and just bought all the items that were not perfect that fit me or were not perfectly fit for me. So I'm gonna make them perfectly fit for me. So here it is, here's the next one. It's a zebra cardigan and I tried it on and I was unsure, but then I cinched it up and just rolled it up to see like how it looked cropped and it looked pretty dang cute crop. So this is what it looks like now. It's like a long cardigan, but I'm gonna rework it and make it a bit cuter. And my last piece of clothing I got was this one, which is another one I'm gonna rework. I really shouldn't have bought a whole bunch of clothes to rework because I don't really have much time right now to be reworking my whole wardrobe, but I guess I'm gonna have to make time, but here it is, this brown one. I love it. I think this was a good one to choose. It's just, it's beautiful. It's like, you know, the style that's on my Pinterest board. So I had to get it. It's a little big, but it's really easy to make these smaller if you just like sew them with the serger and then have like the exposed seam like I've done with a few tops. So I'm gonna do that for this and I think I'm gonna make it really cute in the end. This one was, <laughs> How much was this one? $7.99, okay, not too bad, not too bad. I should really look at the prices before I put them in my cart. <laughs> and my last item are the stinky gross shoes that are worth a lot of money apparently. They are the Stella McCartney designer shoes that I found right at the beginning and I looked them up and they seem legit. They seem legit, these shoes, so I was like, hey, Let's chance them. They were only $16.99 and if they're worth $1,200 brand new, I thought maybe that'd be a good return to just test it out. So I purchased them. I really, really wish they fit because if they fit, I'd keep them for myself, but they're too small. I actually hurt my foot trying to get my foot in there just because I wanted to see what they look like on me, but I couldn't get my foot into this. So you gotta have a real skinny foot to fit into this and I'm jealous whoever wore these before and rocked them because they look pretty spiffy. So we're gonna have to clean them up because they're a little nasty now. They're a little nasty and yeah, they need to be a little bit nicer in order to like resell them. So we'll try reselling them. I've never done it before on eBay. We'll see how that goes. If I lose $17, I lose $17 and that's a lesson learned, but we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes and I'll keep you up to date on how it goes because I've never done it before, but I probably won't really get into it because I don't really find much designer at the thrift store. I typically don't because I don't really know many designer brands, but I thought these were spiffy, so I tried out. But anyways, that is it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this thrift with me. You enjoyed Thriftmas Day 6, and there's still a few more days to go, so be sure to keep watching the Thriftmas series. I'll be back here every single day for a new thrift with me and thrift haul, but before I say goodbye, it's the giveaway time. Now that I think about it, I think I wanna change it up today. I'm not gonna give you a handmade purse if you win today. You are actually going to win one of my tote bags that I made. So I'm gonna be giving away a tote bag today and it just says this is my thrifting bag and then it says reuse, repair, repurpose, rework, recycle buy secondhand because I definitely think that you should also rework things and just recycle things you have or you know, mend things that are broken at the thrift store and you think that you can, you know, fix them. There's a lot of different ways of shopping secondhand and just being sustainable with your clothing, so someone's gonna win this. So if you wanna win this tote bag, follow the directions down below in the description and it'll be 24 hours of skip away, so good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you don't win this 13 tote bag or you just wanna purchase one, they are on my website. I will link it down below if you wanna get one of these tote bags for yourself because they're pretty incredible if they do say so myself. And I will see you tomorrow 
with another search with me and another giveaway and another haul. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.